Hey friends, Dan Przaski from AllAboutMiniBikes.com. Hope you're doing good and uh, no one here to tape me today. But what we're, uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to I'm going to get started. This here the uh, let me see if I can get this in here right. The Ramjet, um, which is cool now that I've got the uh, emblems on it. But uh, what this needs is it's it's not running good. This carburetor needs to be cleaned out again a jet the ball I got to get on to it so uh, so what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna get on there I'm gonna try to take some video of it and why I'm why I'm doing it and what's going on so you can see how to do this that's uh, that motor there is a 1970 Tecumseh and uh, and we're gonna do some work on that and then we're gonna take a we're gonna take a video of that okay and um, what's happening here you see a bolt it was cleaned about a year ago but whether it got some dirt in there i don't know how i mean i've got the filter on there but it was would idle and then it would just kind of bog out could have been the gas went bad on it too i always put uh some stable in it and that but i don't know it it happened there and it did the same thing to the go-kart here i had to take the car to take that off and uh the carb out of that one and clean it up real good and believe it or not the only one that never gets stuck on me is the motovox the motovox never does i i don't i can't even tell you it's been in the shed it's done everything that thing will always start up but uh so i'm gonna get started on that let me get it up in the air so i can get it easy to easy okay to friends okay. uh so what i did was it the sun is shining it's uh cold outside not real cold, the sun is shining though, and because there's always, regardless, there's going to be gas in the ball, I wanted to bring it outside first to empty the gas out, which I did through the little drain plug right there. But then while I was out here, I thought, well, let me get it all the way. So I just took the two nuts off of there. And uh, one of the things I'm doing right now, and I just dropped a little piece, you saw it fall. When I touch it, I'm going to put it back on there. And that's just a little piece of tape. That way the things are held. So now that I've got that, I can uh, take this whole piece into the garage, in the bench, and uh, take the air filter off and get the bowl off. And that's what we'll do next. Okay? All right. So you can see we, I took this off. And uh, right now I'm going to we'll pull the air filter casing off. Okay? So uh, I'm trying to do this by myself without any help. But... Uh, and, and this is really hard to get this casing off when it's on the mini bike because the rear fender just gets in the way. You, you can't get a screwdriver in there. You barely get anything in there and then when you do, there's just no room to do anything. So that's why I took it off the way that I did. Just loosen those up a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. This one here a little looser too. Well, I'll tell you what. I think it's on there a lot tighter than what I thought. Or could just be a little. Yeah, it doesn't want to. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Usually you just turn this and it slides off, but that's not the way it's wanting to go. Okay, so we'll take and just see if we have to really break it loose. That's all I really had to do. It's been on there for so long. Just probably needed to be. Yeah, I did. I felt it. Let's take this one a little more. This one a little more. There we go. Hear that pop? So it just twists, comes off. We get it just right. Lay that over there. Take the filters probably half gummed up on there too. Let's see. Yeah, it certainly is. Huh. You know, I'm wondering if that's part of the problem, actually. 
it was like it wasn't getting enough air when you would when you would put the gas on it would idle okay sometimes and uh and kind of go out a little bit just trying to get this there we go that was on there one good so now I've got it off it's much easier to look at See if we can see in there a little better or not. I don't know if there's enough light. Probably not. So the next thing we'll do is we'll get this off of here. All right, so get this wrench here. Let's see where we're at here. And I'm going to take here here down be kind of cautious here Drop right down into there actually I might be able to just clean the jet out from there without even taking it Oh boy, there we go. Can you see the float there? Jeez, we got to get that back up and in there. And I'll clean it out with uh, a carb cleaner here. Should have put my gloves back on though. Okay, friends, so this has been really hard on me because I'm trying to do it and was trying to video and it just wasn't, wasn't coming out. But, so, here's what we're going to do. So, basically... Let me get this back here. I put it in there. So this is this here jet. This was the main on the bottom of the bowl when we took it apart, right? Remember? This was down in there and it holds it onto it. But let's see if I can get this in here just right. If you look there, see a tiny so I can get it to focus for me. Hold on. Yeah, it looks crappy, don't it? So if you let's see if I get it back in here. There we go. See that little hole there? Let's see if I get it. Probably if I lay it down better, but there's a little hole. And that hole right there is exactly where the gas feeds in. So that being said, if I get it this head hole, that's where the gas feeds in. So I've got that little uh, piece of wire that you saw me use on the other one. So I'm going to shoot this really, really good with carb cleaner. I'll gum up, choke cleaner. That's what I use all the time lately. Just what I do. I'll shoot it both inside there and then there, clean it out real well. And then I've got the <clears throat> I've got the float here and see if I can get this to position itself right without falling over kind of and I'll get in here I'll clean everything out real good I'll pull that pin out of there right there I'll pull the pin out take that off just hard for me to do why I'm trying to videotape it and I'll clean that really good and uh, I had already wiped the inside of the bowl out a little bit without cleaning it yet but I'm going to shoot some uh, cleaner in there and uh, we'll see what happens all right friends so all that being said I did end up taking uh, and cleaning out I told you that little hole right there and what I did to clean that is I just took a uh, little twist tie for a bread and I peeled the plastic off. There's either plastic or paper. And that's usually small enough to get in there, which it was. It stuck. It got in that hole. There's another really small one, right? I, I just don't think this is going to come into view. It just doesn't want to. There's another little small one, right? Right? Let's see. Right there. But... That right there, nothing could really get in there. I tried to get the 
little twist tie in there. I may have got a little bit of it in there. I'm not sure. You can see that little hole right there in between the threads. But uh, I, I, then what I did was I took and I cleaned it out really good. And when I shot it in through the top, I could see it coming out through the hole. So that told me it was all clean. Took the bowl itself, cleaned that out really, really good. I had taken the pin out. I'm not going to jerk with it again because I had to do it without the uh, videotape. But I took the pin out for the float. And then in there, let's see if I can show it to you. Yeah, it might not. I took and cleaned the little jet in there that lets the fuel in. So now what I'm going to do is take and put this back together, get it back on the mini bike and see if it solved my problem or not. So let me do that. And one thing I forgot to mention before I put this bowl back on, it's the bowl. So you can see that the float goes like this. So it's going to be a lower side as it drops compared to what would be a higher side. So when you do that, you want to make sure that this here part right here, you can see it's beveled. So that means when it drops, I want that piece right there to be on that outside part where the bowl would come and drop. Okay? You can see it's higher right there and lower, meaning the bowl could drop lower, the float could drop lower onto there. So I'm going to make sure that I put it like that so that the float goes in there. And I'll stick my jet back in there and tighten it up. Okay, so now I've got her all back together. And the only thing, so I, you know, I shot the uh, carb cleaner all in there, parts cleaner, whatever you want to use. I, I, I shot it all in there, let everything uh, kind of drain out and wipe it as best as I could. So we've got her back together. I'm going to go and put the filter back on it and go slap it on the mini bike and we'll see what happens. All right, all right. so I got her back together now. I'll get the fuel turned on and uh, I'll get the fuel turned on and you know, take a few kicks. I'm sure if it's going to work to get it started because everything's totally closed on it. The only thing I've got to do that I just forgot, so I'm looking at it. Take that clip right there, bring it up to the end of the fuel line, hold it on there. So let me get that done. Well, believe me or not, we actually started on the second pull, which surprised me. But this is great. So some car cleaning, so no one's a matter, probably just got gummed up from laying around. I, I really don't know. I always put stable in my gas, but I never have a problem with the moto box or my lawnmowers. Just the ramjet and the cart. And I take a ride video it, but I can't video myself right now. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Leave some comments. I know it wasn't the best, uh, wasn't the best because we were sitting there trying to hold the video on it. It's just tough. Love this little bike.